How you doing, everybody? It is Chris, and this week I want to talk about uh, why I love silver, and uh, why I think it's definitely uh, going to be the base of your stock, um, regardless of what your preference is, meaning gold, platinum, uh, some of the other metals. Silver really has to be a part of uh, your stocking strategy uh, for a variety of reasons. First, uh, low, bo low barrier of entry. So what that means is that price-wise, silver gives you a really good value. Um, you can pick up a lot of it for uh, a price that's not too daunting. Um, and that's important because uh, if you are waiting too long between buying uh, your precious metals, uh, price can fluctuate. Uh, as we saw earlier uh, this year and uh, last year as well, uh, price can change. So silver went from being in the $12, $13, $14 dollar range up to the $16 dollar range, up to the $17 dollar range, and then all of a sudden it was close to $30 uh, as far as spot. And again, you're not going to get everything at spot price. Something like these, which are the Eagles, will cost you, you know, a few dollars more per coin per one of these over spot. Um, so you want to keep those things in mind. The reason that you would pay a little bit more for something like this is because it's going to be very easy to get rid of. Everyone knows what it is. Everyone, you know, there's always demand for it because it is a government minted bullion coin uh, from the United States, which is highly in demand. Um, as far as what year, things like that, it's not really too much of a difference uh, unless you're into collecting, uh, you know, for a specific purpose. But uh, those aren't the only thing that you can collect as far as silver. There's so many other things. For example, these are where I started. The Atmex one ounce bar. Why? Because it was cheap at the time. And I wanted to see what does it look like? What is this silver thing about? Why, you know, am I gonna like it? I don't wanna buy a bunch of it and, you know, be disappointed. And so I bought, I think, 10 ounces the first time, maybe even less than that to kind of see, you know, is this something that I'm going to want to get into? I mean, I understood, you know, the value there, but I was unsure of how I was going to go about it. So I decided to start stocking these bars. And after, you know, my first two orders, I was hooked. I was like, you know what? I do like this. I get what it's about. Um, I do see the value in stocking over time. Um, even then the prices were low and, you know, at times it went even lower than what I purchased it for. So, but it really wasn't about that so much. It wasn't about the dollar value. It was the fact that I'm holding value in something other than just dollars. And that's something that appeals to me uh, individually as a person. Uh, and I think that appeals to a lot of people. So um, that's really one of the things that, you know, makes silver unique is that you, it gives you that, that low barrier to entry to be able to start putting your money into something else and again these kind of things are easy to transfer back into cash if you need cash um, don't think of it as like oh no one's gonna buy this or no you can get rid of this pretty easily um if you need to i mean i always thought well you know what if people don't know what it is or they don't trust that it's silver or whatever the case you know those things are more in your head than in reality um, people do recognize silver and gold and things like that um, especially in times of crisis or uncertainty, they're in demand. So don't worry too much about that. It is something to consider, but don't lose sleep over something like that. Um, other things that, uh, this is, you know, Silvertown bar. So this is a five ounce bar, silver. This is one of the cheaper things that you can buy. But again, it's nice. It's got a little, you know, it's got a little weight to it. It's a nice looking bar. And those are the kinds of things that you can pick up, you know, if you're looking for best value for your dollar now if you also want to enjoy you know your silver and and appreciate your stack things like that then you know for example this is the disney uh a disney round the 90th anniversary of uh mickey mouse things like that or if you're into like nature i just picked these up a few weeks ago at the pawn shop uh these are canadian royal canadian mint uh coins um and uh you know even things like this these do cost if you go with something like this they do cost a little bit more it's just the name of the game but again 
if you're the type that wants to be able to enjoy the fact that you have, you know, nice things in your stack, great, more power to you. These are more uh, Silvertown uh, bars. One ounce bars. And of course, in the center, the star of the show, the 100 uh, ounce bar from the Royal Canadian Mint. This one, I mean, this is like, these things are like straight out of a movie. They're nice. I wish it was gold, doesn't everybody? But they're they're great. They're great to have. It's really not that big, you know, the thing is that a lot of people say like, oh, if you had to, you know, carry that around or move it somewhere, it's really not that big a deal. I mean, I, I could see if you had 10 or 20 of these, yeah, it's gonna be a big deal. It's pretty heavy. Even this is pretty heavy. So it is something that you wanna keep in mind, but, uh, you know, if you open your safe or your safe deposit box or your hiding spot, wherever that may be, and you see something like this, it's gonna put a smile on your face. If you see a few of them, put a bigger smile. But, uh, but, Silver really has to be uh, something that you consider um, when you're putting your stock together and it doesn't, it's not necessarily as important, you know, which way you go about it, as long as it makes sense for you. So um, again, whether you go with generic bars, like something like these, whether you go with, you know, specialty rounds like these, or, you know, coins that may have a little bit, you know, a nice look to them or things like that it doesn't matter in the end again you're putting your value from cash into something that's going to be holding that value in a separate instrument silver so i just wanted to talk about how your stacking strategy can evolve over time to incorporate all of these different things and again you can at some point trade all of this for gold for platinum whatever you know whatever your heart desires but by starting with something like platinum that is much cheaper, you're giving yourself the ability to, especially because like I said, price jumped from 16, $17 an ounce to up to 30. Right now it's right around $25. But uh, when you have, when you amass, you know, something that's lower cost like this and it shoots up in price like that, that gives you the ability to choose to switch this over for gold. When I bought this, I think it was, Mm, 1600 maybe 1700 for this bar and uh, I sold one for 3200 uh, a few months ago so I mean I made plenty off of that um, and then I did trade some for gold so because gold I feel like has kind of lagged a little bit um, but again by by getting myself into silver at you know at a decent time um, I gave myself the flexibility to be able to do that. And I, I think right now I'm going to end up trading some of these eagles at some point for, um, for more gold and platinum, if I can find platinum to trade for. But, uh, but yes, if you're into stacking, if you're starting out in stacking, or even if you really don't see the value in silver, you may want to take a second look at it because really this is the place where you're going to want to be if price continues to rise. All right, that's it for today, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Take care.